Ever wondered why a seemingly simple piece of art can sell for millions of dollars? It's a question that puzzles many. You might think the value of art is tied to its complexity or the effort invested in its creation, but it's not quite that straightforward. Don Thompson in his book, The Dollar 12 Million Stuffed Shark, The Curious Economics of Contemporary Art, suggests a different perspective. He asserts, in a market where information is scarce and not trustworthy, the first rule is the price level signals the reputation of the artist, the status of the dealer, and the status of the intended purchaser. Prices reflect a size of work, not its quality or artistic merit. That's to say it's not always about the art itself. The artist's reputation, the dealer's influence and the branding of the artwork play pivotal roles in determining the price tag. So it's not just about the art itself, but the story and reputation behind it. Intriguing, isn't it? Isn't a let's delve deeper into how an artist's reputation influences the price tag on their art. An artist's reputation can dramatically fluctuate, with factors such as a popular film featuring their work contributing to a sudden spike. Dealers keenly observe these shifts and leverage them to hike up the selling price. Consider Damien Hirst's shark piece. In the 90s, Hirst began working with Charles Saatchi, a significant figure in the art world. Saatchi, intrigued by a cow's head display by Hirst, commissioned him to create anything he wished for £50,000. Hearst procured a shark for £6,000, leading to his iconic creation, the physical impossibility of death in the mind of someone living. Later that year, it fetched $12 million from Steve Cohen, a millionaire hedge fund manager. Sachi's reputation was instrumental in multiplying the initial price by around 130 times. So it's clear that reputation, both of the artist and the dealer, plays a major role in determining the price of art. Now let's unravel the last factor that heavily influences art pricing, scarcity. Picture this. Jenny Saville, a young British artist, was persuaded by Charles Saatchi, a titan in the art world, to limit herself to producing just six paintings a year. Saville's work was already sought after, but this deliberate limitation transformed her art into a rare commodity. The demand for her pieces skyrocketed, and so did the prices. The scarcity of her work, coupled with the backing of a renowned dealer like Saatchi, was a recipe for success. This strategy is not exclusive to Saville. Many artists have used scarcity to their advantage. It's a powerful tool that helps in creating a sense of urgency and exclusivity, which in turn can dramatically increase the value of their work. So, in the world of art, less is indeed more. Scarcity, reputation and influential dealership. These are the forces that shape the enigmatic world of art pricing.